Hi, I'm Savannah Payne, and I am going to give a quick overview of Whitney's course using the K-12 Quality Matters rubric. So the course overview and introduction, she has that set up really nicely with some helpful information. You can tell right away this is going to be for fifth graders. And here's some course information to get started. It tells us what to do. When you begin this course, you must take a look at the syllabus before doing anything else. You can tell from the style, the language, the way that the sentences are pretty concise. She tells us about the course design and which is basically the course learning objectives. She tells us what the learning outcomes will be. She has three of them for this course that are very specific related to their gardening task. Of course, she talks about the grade breakdown, the weight information, how to contact the instructor, and don't hesitate to ask any questions. So then we move on and get into the netiquette. I really enjoyed these netiquette slides. Again, she made this grade level appropriate. So the learning activities and the instructional materials actually are grade level appropriate. You have to continue to complete each thing before moving on going forward. The assessment she used, you can see, of course, right away, we get hit with a, an, a quiz, and that was kind of a multiple choice selection. She has us contribute with a discussion board. She has assignments for us to complete and turn in within the garden. And we have to be able to actually write an answer in some of these. Uh, students will be required to make observations and discuss what they are actually observing. So those are appropriate assessments and measurements for fifth grade students. The learning activities that she has are very engaging. Each one, she has the objectives for each lesson. For the social studies lesson, it's very clearly stated. The English is clearly stated. The art is clearly stated. And you can see part of this accessibility and usability. You can tell that she's working with younger students and actually puts in things like click here. And so there's things built into her course that are learner and instructor support. She doesn't necessarily outright say that you are going to use technology, but she integrates the use of technology by the way she has students interact with the discussion board. And furthermore, she has also embedded different things such as YouTube videos that students are required to watch and gather. And so then that also encompasses a little bit of this instructor to student. And then um, I would say, if anything, it's somewhat difficult to navigate because there's not really, um, you have to mark things as done as you've done them. And then you have to go through. And so, um, well, actually, that's pretty, pretty helpful. Some of these things initially were locked. It looks like Whitney has gone back and cleaned those up. And so that makes it very user friendly. Overall, she did a great job. Another thing that I would like to point out on her modules that meets technology and assistance is she gives us see some technology troubleshooting tips here. And also the, and again, she made this to where fifth grade students are going to easily be able to follow this. Really proud of you. Great job, Whitney. 
Um, thank you. And I hope you have a blessed day.